Well, good morning, everybody. If we get your attention, we want to be uh, respectful of everybody's time. Uh, we'll get started here today. And uh, first, thanks for coming out to the uh, you know beautiful Lake Club, and I guess welcome to spring at the Lake Club. And uh, a few snow flurries coming in here today. Um, I'm going to bring Ed Moransky up in a minute and let him really tee up why we're here today. Because this, when I talked to Ed about six weeks ago, this was Ed's idea. Um, but I, I think it's really important to emphasize, you know, this is more than Ed Moransky and his family you know, purchasing the last cruise and making a donation to United Way. First, Ed wants to make sure that the money goes to children in the Mahoning Valley. Ed and Chris and the entire family have an emphasis uh, on the children. They're our future. You know, and we really like to think of this as, that, you know, the bridge to the future with the car. Uh, Ed and I talked about that um, because we think it's really important that people know that the money we raise uh, from the last cruise will go to support the work we do in Youngstown City Schools, specifically our Success After Six program. Uh, I'll let Ed talk about that. I'll come up after it. I want to thank uh, uh, several people here today. First, thanks to the Lake Club. Typically on a Monday this time of the year, the club's not open, but thanks to George and Chris San Martino for graciously welcoming us here to the Lake Club. Uh, we talk about our partnership uh, in, in, with, with General Motors and UAW. Uh, for our 100-year history, and this is our 100th anniversary, we've had a partnership for more than half of that history. So those hard working people out at the plant that have made that car. So thanks to Dave Green, the UAW president, and some of his uh, staff that have come here. And I also think I heard coming in that we had a gentleman show up, he and his wife that have uh, worked for 44 years uh, at UAW uh, came today to see what this was all about. Thanks to the local dealers, Alexis Sweeney and Greg Greenwood, we have great partnership there as well, and to the media for coming out today. So Ed, I don't want to steal your thunder. This really you know, came from Ed. Uh, how this is going to work. I'll explain the specifics on the cruise and how someone is going to win it. It will wrap up the night of our gala, May 10th, here at the Lake Club, celebrating our 100th anniversary. Uh, Ed's longtime supporter. Uh, he gets what United Way does, supports a lot of charities in the community. Uh, Ed Moransky. Ed? Thanks, Bob. Just wanted to uh, take a moment to tell everybody kind of how this happened uh, in my head and, uh, and why. Uh, I, like everybody listening, uh, it was like a train coming down the track. Uh, when we first heard that, that news that the uh, plant uh, was going to be idled, uh, it was a huge blow to everybody. I'm sure you remember how you felt when you heard that. And uh, like with everything, life goes on and then before you knew it, there was the publicity of this last cruise coming down the line. And uh, watching the emotion of the people like the couple that's here tonight of uh, GM and, and uh, that facility in our valley, it just became more and more real as it was going down the line. And uh, I, I just, in, in my head, said this is, this is not how this has to go out. We have to make something good out of this situation it's such an unknown so um, I picked up the phone and called Bobby Stackhouse and uh, Bobby as he always does with me says I wow um, I, I, I know there were some people inquiring but let's see if we can do do this so he called me back probably about four hours later and said uh, can't believe I'm telling you this, but you own the cruise. We were able to uh, transfer the rights to the cruise from a Florida dealership, which it would have meant nothing to, uh, back to our valley. And uh, as I had found out from Bobby, there were a number of dealerships as well as the Auto Workers Union that also wanted to make sure that it was not traveling out of state. So uh, that's how we got it. And then as I, as I started thinking, uh, one of my first jobs, Bo Schembechler, my college coach, was great friends with the head of GM at the time. I think he was Mr. McDonald, uh, was the chairman of GM. And uh, I got my first real job. I was making more than my dad at the uh, GM assembly plant when they used to make the vans there. At one time, they made the smaller car. It might have been the Vega, the Cobalt at the time, and the van. And uh, that was my first job. And I'll never forget, um, and it helped me in college, just how hard everybody in that plant worked. 
and that there were shifts going on in the middle of the night. There were people going out that needed to take a shower for two hours as hard as they were working. Um, that, uh, that's what our valley stood for. And so that piece of it was in my head that we, we can't let it go out on a melancholy, unknown moment that it was very important that we turn this into something that we control and into a positive. So I immediately called Bob Hannon and uh, with the 100th anniversary, uh, the only way we could stop all of this is continuing to educate our youth in the valley and make sure they stay here. So we're going to turn a, a tough situation that hopefully is not the end uh, into a celebration of our future and uh, a celebration of raising money to bridge our future with our children. And uh, my wife, Chris, uh, out of town today, she wishes she was here, as well as my family and all the Moransky companies. Uh, you know, we want the valley to be better. Uh, we want our valley to have another automobile that we're manufacturing. Uh, but we don't control those things. What we control, and I hope everybody that's listening understands, we control what we do and how we feel and how we could create another job or how we could create a good feeling in the community as opposed to talking about negative things. When I see how things are happening at Youngstown Community School and the other schools that the United Way is involved in, it's working. The light bulb's going off. These kids are our future. I see more of our young kids staying in the valley. Those are things we control. So we're happy. Our family, family of companies, very happy to be part of this. Uh, but the United Way does a heck of a job fulfilling it. So on behalf of everybody that worked at that plant, Dave, uh, hopefully this is just a, a, a feel-good moment that not just the person that you hear that ultimately is going to win the bid on it, but with all the donations, uh, to know that it's a bridge of something good coming out of something unknown and so many families moving and uneasy, uh, just a little piece of peace during the, this, uh, this tough time. So I'm proud to be a part of it, Bob, if you want to announce kind of the, the details. But uh, uh, it's everybody's valley, so I challenge everybody out there that's listening to this, even if you could just have a positive feeling and, and emotion and talking about it, uh, you're doing all of us good. So, Bob, thank you. Thank you. So I might not have this story exactly right, but it's something like this. So Ed mentioned one of his first jobs uh, was working at the plant. Now Ed went on to be an All-American offensive lineman at Michigan. So this was before he went to Michigan, before his freshman year. So he's working out at the plant, and he talks to Coach Schembechler, I think the, one of the first few days in, and Coach Schembechler says, how's it going? He said, it's great. He said, I'm putting tires on cars, I'm throwing tires around. And Schembechler says, you're doing what? You, know, you could hurt your back. The following day, or a couple days later, Ed was working on windshield wipers. So Bo made the call, okay, to GM and said, no, you're not, you're not doing that, Ed. You're coming here to play football. But I think it is sort of ironic that, uh, you know, with Ed doing what he does. I also want to mention that uh, the Moransky family, not only uh, their donations and their dollars to Unite Away, but to several charities, they donate their time. Uh, and that's every bit as important. Ed works report card mentoring at our school. Uh, Ed's son, Eddie, is a report card mentor. Uh, his wife, Chris, serves on our board. Uh, so they get involved. So we were so excited when Ed gave us that phone call. And we're like, how are we going to do this? How are we going we gonna to raffle tickets? Are we going to do an auction? So we think we have the best plan. So here, and I think I want to touch on first, and hopefully the media help get out this story. So if you, if you want to help us bridge that future and help kids, and you, you don't bid on the car, or it's beyond where you can make a donation. You can go to the site I'm going to mention, make a donation, whether it's to celebrate United Way's 100th or whether it's to go to the charities for the children of the Mahoning Valley. So you can make a donation without bidding on the car. So the site will be bidpow.net slash last cruise. You can go to the website and register and begin bidding. You will get a text to your phone that gives you easy access to the website, and you add your credit card information. You can start bidding. We'll wrap it up on May 10th at our Centennial Gala, and uh, that's the way it'll work. Uh, we have a starting bid, and we'll do it in certain increments uh, to go from there. Uh, but just to echo Ed's thoughts, uh, this also was a very important to us because of Ed's relationship with us 
our relationship with the local dealers here that their employees give significantly, Greenwood and Sweeney, but also the partnership that we've had with UAW as one of our top supporters going back 30, 40 years, and we certainly wish that plant the best in, uh, in moving forward. Afterwards, if you want to talk to Ed or myself or anybody here, uh, we'll be available. Uh, so I think we've touched everything, Roxanne, on how it'll work. You see the, the site to, to our left, and I know many of you will be at the gala. I, I, I know the uh, Greg and Alexa, you both are our big sponsors, our impact sponsors, and that'll be May 10th right here on a Friday night. So thanks, everybody, for coming. Hopefully, uh, we'll, we'll start getting bids today. And oh, I also should mention that the car will leave today and will be at Eastwood Mall for two weeks. Tony Cafaro asked if the car could be showcased there. And then the car will go over to Greenwood Chevrolet and then to Sweeney Chevrolet to wrap it up. And then we'll have it back here on May 10th. And this is it. This is the final car that uh, uh, for many years, all that hard work out there. And you see so many of them in the Mahoning Valley. But thanks again, Ed. Appreciate all you do for us and for the Mahoning Valley. And thanks, everybody, for coming today. Thank you.